Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back at the Sweet 16, and today I'm gonna to be working right there on that tiny house. Where I left off was on the fascia and soffits for the dormer. I'm gonna work on that today. But I did wanna take a second to say younger YouTubers, those of you that are watching the channel, man, I just want y'all to know I see you, you know what I'm saying? I see you guys in the analytics, man. That is freaking awesome. Thanks for jumping on board. Thanks for being an official member of the Tree Tribe. I love you guys, man. It's cool. We're reaching a wide range of audience from super young all the way up. You know what I'm saying? And I love that. So I do appreciate you guys that are here, that are watching, that are keeping up. Let me know how you're doing. If you got any questions, I do got a Q&A coming up I'm going to be doing because I have been getting a lot of questions sent to the email, which is on our About page. If you have a question, just email me, and maybe I'll put your question in the next segment of Q&A. But this video, I thought since we are getting a younger crowd, uh, all you older people, come on, keep watching, you know what I'm saying? I did want to speak to them a little bit, especially if they're new YouTubers. If you're a new YouTuber and uh, you just got a channel or maybe you haven't had a channel very long or maybe you're thinking of starting a channel, I'm going to say a few things today that might help you guys out on your journey to get up and running you know what i'm saying so so i gotta get to work guys on the tiny house way over there i'm glad y'all are here but i gotta get my tools and we gotta get going thanks for being here guys but i gotta get busy All right, guys, in this video, I'm also going to try to explain a little bit more about what I'm doing. Right now, I'm working on the fascia board area. Let me show you what I'm doing real quick. I can't hardly even film that, guys. I'm like right on the edge of the scaff, and I'm like leaning way over with the camera trying to get the best angle I can of that fascia board, man. You guys get the gist of what I'm doing. I already got the soffit on. I'm just slapping that fascia board on the front. And uh, the fascia boards that I got are one by sixes, so they're actually only five and a half inches wide. And I need about six and a half inches wide, or I have to piece it. I really don't want to piece it because it's a fascia board. I think I'm going to cut a full piece out of the T111 that I got, and uh, it'll look fine. This is all going to get painted. It won't really matter in the end. And let me turn this exposure down a little bit. And uh, everything's going to be all right. So I need a piece about 69 inches long by 6 and 3 quarter wide. So I'm going to go down and cut that. We'll come back up, get that nailed on. After I get that fascia cut on the end of that dormer, I can move around to the side and get that fascia board put up. If you all remember, last time I was doing this, I had my board cut and everything, had all the angles for the roof and all that, and I ended up cutting it about a quarter inch too short. So I do need to recut that board, get that on, and then we'll be able to jump on the other side of the dormer. And if I can get all that done, I'll be super happy. And I gotta go cut this board, so I'm gonna go do that. guys these things are everywhere up here you know what i'm saying i'm gonna grab this board throw it up here on the table get that piece cut get up there get it nailed on moving on to the next thing
Gotta move the camera up top, set it back up for that shot. That way we get the angle of the board flying up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so a little trick I do whenever I'm out here working by myself, I need like a couple more hands, you know what I'm saying? So I'll just get these little blocks of wood, and if y'all can see right up here on this corner, boom, right up there, I can't point to it, but right there, I get a little block of wood, four, five, six inches long. I just tack it up with my finished nailer, got an inch and a half nail in there, put one nail in it, and all that does is hold my fascia board up. That way I can slap it up there, move it around, look, make sure I got it where I want it. And I'm not sitting there like trying to hold it and get over and move the ladder. I can just throw it up there, move the ladder, come down the corner, mark where it needs to be cut. And it's just like a helper, you know what I'm saying? So I do that stuff all the time. Just want to explain what I was doing because I told y'all earlier, I was going to try to explain more stuff, you know what I'm saying? Real hard to get an angle on what I'm doing from there, so I'm moving the camera back around to this other side where I'm actually working. Best I can do here is just kind of get a side view. And this wind is really whipping up here on top of the scaff. You know what I'm saying? Check out these trees, man. They are blowing. You know what I mean? Holy cow. I'm just going to stop right here, get a short time lapse, show you all what I'm talking about. Got that face on, man. Everything's looking good. Probably can't see it because it is way up there. There's not a real good way for me to film up in that corner, but I came down to get the camera. I'm gonna set it up on the scaff. I gotta hit that top corner with a little bit of clear silicone for my waterproofing, and uh, that pretty much takes care of that whole side. We're wrapped in fascia all the way around to the other side. And I got two pieces left to do and that top part will be done and then I can get on with putting the rake trim on you know what I'm saying so I'm super excited about that I'm just gonna keep rocking and rolling man glad y'all are here don't go anywhere
All right, so I'm wanting to get some of that rake trim put on today. The stuff I rustified sitting right here on the trailer and uh, went ahead and brought the screws down. I want to get some paint on the heads of those screws. That way they're just not silver shiny up against my rusty looking rake metal. So I'm going to do that real quick. And while these screw heads are drying, I'll just jump around on the other side, put up some more fascia board. All right, so I went to the truck stop, got me something to eat, took a little break, took my uh, rhino skin jacket off, and uh, got to do that fascia and that fascia over on this side, and we'll be done on the dormers, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to quit yakking and get back to work. Freaking getting windy up in here, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. I thought I'd change things up a little bit for me and I decided to put my earbuds in I thought you know I'll just listen to little Eric Church you know while I'm working on the tiny house and that's friggin awesome because I never listen to music out here while I'm working uh, just because I'm busy filming and stuff like that I didn't really want to be distracted and everything but today I thought you know what I'm a guy that does things different from time to time and I'm gonna try it with my earbuds see if I can rock out a little bit but the problem is these earbuds keep falling out. If I lean over too much, boom, I don't know if I got a weird shaped ear hole, you know what I'm saying? But they don't stay in very good. So I think I'm gonna get my headphones on, listen to a little more music, and just, uh, you know, have fun and build a tiny house. Much better. I look ridiculous, but at least they're not gonna fall off, you know what I'm saying?
How'd you guys like the stinky beaver video, man? I'm telling you, I can still smell it. You know what I'm saying? I did not do a very good job capturing the raw stench of that nasty beaver that we found dead. It was hilarious, man. Me and Tim, we kept kind of smelling something whenever we were over there. And uh, we just thought it was like dead fish or something up in that pile of that driftwood and everything coming off of that waterfall. And uh, I guess the wind kind of changed directions and we started catching like a nasty whiff of that beaver. And then Tim all of a sudden figured out what it is. He's like, there's a dead beaver right over there. And after that, man, we just started smelling it, man. It was freaking rank you know what i'm saying i know why they call it stinky beaver now because whatever beavers are rotten and all nasty they stink to high heaven man but thanks for watching that video that was super gross i ain't even joking New YouTubers, man, I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. You are gonna have all kinds of people giving you all kinds of advice, telling you you're doing things wrong, you're talking too much, you're not talking enough, you're not showing enough of this, your videos are too long, your videos are too short, you suck at talking, you don't say your words right, you're dumb, you're stupid, you're ugly, you're too fat, you're too skinny, you're gonna get it all. So what you gotta do is every day before you hit record, you gotta grab your rhino jacket out of the closet and put it on, you know what I'm saying? It's my rhino jacket right here because it's made out of rhino skin. Why is it made out of rhino skin? Because that's the toughest skin on the planet, man. And I'm telling you right now, you wanna be a YouTuber, you gotta have some tough skin, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta just get yourself mentally into a place where I'm like, I don't care what people think. I just don't. And I'm telling you, it is not easy getting to that point. It ain't. Because we're not just like, I don't feel like we're just naturally like that. You know, you wanna, a lot of people wanna be super nice and they want to please everybody you know they're people pleasers you know they spend their whole life worrying about everybody else's feelings and they don't hardly spend any time worrying about their own feelings and what makes them happy you know what i mean so my suggestion to you be yourself and you'll be cool i'll take it one step further that's a saying my little brother used to say all the time and uh i'll just tell you be yourself and you'll be cool but you're not gonna be cool to everybody. You know what I mean? And the ones that aren't cool with you, they're not meant to be in your YouTube circle, so don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? So just be yourself and uh, do it your way. And I promise you in the long run, you might not grow as fast, but in the long run, you are gonna be so much happier. You know what I mean? You can change things up a little bit, but always stay true to your core self. You know what I mean? You can make your videos a little bit faster, do funny things, make them pop and stuff like that. But don't ever change being who you are. Talk how you talk, look how you look, be the way you naturally are. And if you do that, the people that are with you are gonna be your hardcore tree tribe. 